welcome to another video. There's a load of turnstones behind me. I can see the little turnstones just on the sideline. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay. It's going to be a bit windy, but I'm by the sea. I've come a bit further back, so hopefully you can hear me a bit better. Uh, so the plan today is to try and photograph some small waders here on the, on the Yorkshire coast. And this is a really good stretch of beach. You can often get really, really close to sandalings and turnstones, and also oyster catcher, sometimes purple sandpiper. So I've arrived at around high tide. The reason being that I know the tide's now going to go out, so it's not going to. I'm not going to get caught by the sea. There's a few turnstones just a bit further up. Uh, a small group, maybe about 10 or something, and they kind of look like they're coming this way. So I got myself into position, got low down, and I just need to stay fairly still. And hopefully, they'll come close. That was amazing. There was one turnstone and I saw it flying in. I was just flying like a few feet above the beach towards me. I'm thinking, it's not gonna land, is it? And it did, it just literally landed about 10 feet in front of me. I just got my eye to the camera, tried to stay fairly still. Um, and he just walked towards me, I got loads of shots. I couldn't really do much talking to the camera to take you through what I was doing because it's just there's just so many factors of light, water, people, dogs, and um, it's just trying to get pictures and trying to get film footage, which is difficult enough, and that's a priority. First thing I'm going to show you is the kit. Um, you might have wondered what was below the camera. You might have been intrigued by that uh, amazing piece of technology. Yeah, uh, basically it's a frying pan. So a friend of mine actually made this, Scott, if you're watching, thanks very much, mate. Basically a modified frying pan, and then we've got a screw head in the middle, and I've got a ball head on top, and then, and then I can just attach the camera. And then I've got the big lens cover as well. This is my big uh, lens cover from Wildlife Watching Supplies. Because in this environment with the sand and possible spray, you really want to try and look after your kit. And I'm trying to, uh, when I can, I'm trying to pull this over the camera, try and protect the camera as well, but it's very, uh, well, it's very difficult to keep the sand off everything, almost impossible. And then in terms of clothing, most importantly, I've got these waterproof trousers, um, which are like dungarees, more for like shooting and hunting, that kind of thing. But they're really good, really warm, nice and waterproof. I've also got a bum bag with me today because if I use my camera bag, the usual camera bag for all my gear, I just have nowhere to put it and it just get wet. So with a bum bag, it's just an easy way of carrying all those extra accessories, just uh, wrap it around your waist. 
and in there I've got um, I've got a bit of a towel which might be useful now. I've got uh, spare camera battery, spare vlogging battery, and phone, car keys, and all those bits. It's really, really important that you check the tide times when you're doing this type of photography. So that's the number one thing I do is check the tide times and then try and coincide it with good light if possible. Um, I tend to work around high tide after high tide. So I arrived about an hour and a half after high tide today. So that means that the sea's always going out, which doesn't give me the risk of me getting cut off or my camera gear uh, getting as wet, or at least not as likely. You could do it the other way around so that you arrive here as the tide's coming in and that can work really well because it can actually push the birds up to the top of the beach and you have a smaller area of beach to work in. Um, but again, the downside is if you're not careful, you look around and find yourself almost completely cut off by the water and that's, that's not something that you want to see. So it might be safer actually doing it the way I did it today, which is just finding good patches, waiting for the birds to come to you and the tide's on the way out, so I know there's never any danger of me getting cut off. I'm very glad I bought that change of clothes now. Um, feeling a little bit damp, and I'm just covered in sand. Uh, first thing I'll do is dry my kit off, and then when I can, I'll try to give it like a wipe uh, with a bit of damp cloth, try and get all the sand off it. I don't like a lot of attention, but uh, this is a good way to do it, is to crawl around on a beach looking like this, with some kind of camouflage weird thing on a frying pan. The guy just said he liked my frying pan, which was nice. Uh, sometimes get ads for different stuff at the bottom of the video, so I might get sponsored by Tfal or something. <sighs> Non-stick photographer. Uh, thanks again for watching, really appreciate all the viewers. If you're not already subscribed, then please do click on the subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed those turnstones. It's a really gorgeous light today quite happy with some of those images. Anyway, I'm going to go get changed and go get a hot drink and I will see you somewhere in nature sometime soon.